What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chad. I was like, hey, Chad, I've been level 40. Shout out to the micro machines, man. <laughs> yeah, I can't talk that fast. My name is Tony, a.k.a. Friday the 14th. I didn't know I could. <laughs> <laughs> Who we got over there? What just happened? <laughs> I'm Hot Mike Chance. I'm startled as well. Brandon E. And I miss my uncle Charles. I never miss home. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, strong. Yeah, dude. Gonna stay strong. Where we go? Episode seventy-two. Damn it! Shout out to the freaking sponsors. We got Trouble Spirits. We got Chance. Chance, chance. Yep. And chance. And we're not talking about the homeward bound chance. Nope. No, we're not. I Fuck did have a dog named Shadow. Shadow. Though. Yes. Yep. Shadow was the one. He was the glue to that to that dynamic. Yeah, you gotta give Ch- Chance was the outgoing one of the group. Cats he was the outgoing. Calm He's down, the, Pop. If it wasn't for got so much to learn. <laughs> <laughs> He'll come back for us. I know he will. <laughs> wasn't Chance's voice by Michael J. Fox? Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, nope. Sassy. Oh, well, sa- yeah. Sassy yeah. Rose- was the cat, yeah. Roseanne, right? Oh, yes. Oh, oh it was. Yeah. Shout out to Roseanne being a voice on Look Who's Talking Dude. Too. As yeah. a child, watching that Maybe, that yeah. ending of Homeward Bound, I love it. There, it's still to the as a forty year old man. Yes, it brings a tear to this glass eye. <laughs> brings happiness. It's not, to me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just that. I mean, it's just pure joy when. Okay, Start, Sting. Sting, Sting right. disagrees. He's when Sting's laying down for where's Hogan? Get the pin. <laughs> <laughs> when Sha- when, Sha- when Ch- Chance come, Sassy and Day uh, and Chance come up, and then Shadow comes walking up with that limp dude. Yeah. Oh, dude. It, yeah. Just get you it right there. You down Hang on, there, this yeah. is a chance. This is the only chance he's going to get at this. <laughs> <laughs> count. Somebody count. Oh, oh. One, one two. Oh, Sting still kicked out. <laughs> Virgil never won. Moose. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we. Woo! Look at oh him. yeah, movies that we love. Movies so bad they're good. Yes. Homeward Bound is not on this list. No, no. it's classic. It list. is not. I don't know how. Dag Nebbit. Or is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not the, sequel, <laughs> the sequel, the sequel, word, all the Disney sequel sequels, yeah, sequels, all the Disney sequels are. Se- yeah, yeah. yeah. That I never, right? But that yeah. that original yeah. one though, that's oh, classic. Man, talking about greatness. one of the few pet movies that I can watch because it's not too. Sad. It's not overly sad. It's not bad. Sad. Yeah, you know. I've got some that are crap. Yeah. Pet movies. I could I, I could pull them out if I need to. Right. I'm gonna try to be nice. But <laughs> if I have to. I will. Well, yeah, so this is, an ep- this is an episode that we thought would be cool because we all like movies that are so bad that we they're love fun. Them. Yeah, um, they're fun. These are not going to be Academy Award winning movies you're going to see on this list. Yeah. No, not at all. These are movies that we enjoy that you've probably heard us talk about before. I know for two of my favorite movies of all time are some of the worst movies ever made. Yeah. So, of course, they're going to get brought up for the 70 millionth time, but... I don't have good taste in movies. Well, I, <laughs> so. I'd look at, like, when I was going... I, I, it realized how much my nerddom. I've watched a lot of movies. No, not you. And <laughs> I, I've come to find out, like I like a lot of bad movies. Like, yeah, I mean, bad far, movies. No way not to. But they're fun. Yeah. Exactly. They're fun. Exactly. You no. just just throw off, like Chad said, they're not Academy Award winning movies. Just go in with the mindset of, hey, this is going to be a good time. Have fun with it, and then. Some of these are some gems well, that you're missing as, out on that you've never heard of. As far as rewatchability, like a lot of the movies that are very, very well made movies are not really rewatchable. So yeah. true. They're so not true. they're not um they're just not as fun. They they take themselves too seriously, which I get. But like take for instance like the one Academy Award this page, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is an amazing movie. Yeah. Amazing movie. But how many times are you gonna like, oh I sit that, I feel like sitting down and watching Oppenheimer again. Right it's the now. same way I feel about Dunkirk and yeah. feel about yeah. I mean, they're yeah. they they're masterpieces. Yes, but just the rewatchability. I know that yeah. that's probably not a word at all. We well, now. Uh, yeah. But it's just not that for a two and a half hour, three hour movie yeah. that you got to sink into. It's just. You're liable to watch The Big Green five times before yeah. you watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. 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 I'll just think about the cover. Shout out to Hamilton Porter. Yes, that's a great cover. Um, the great man Vito. But, yeah, no, facts what you're saying. So, who wants to start this thing off? Because we're cooking in here like some goddamn well, dino can, nuggies. Can I start mm-hmm. this? Go yeah, ahead. You start it, B. Shout out to Cop and a Half. Yes, there you go. <laughs> dude. Yes. Go. Norman D. Golden the second is the star of this masterpiece. <laughs> Burt Reynolds is the co-star. 
Yes. Mm. He should be the star because he's a real good actor, mm. unlike that Norman D. Gold in the second. Yeah. <laughs> but do you want to play swords? Because my friend can piss eight feet. <laughs> Quote of the movie, bro. Can we? First movie. of all, before we get into the the <laughs> the real the one. real um, that's how we started. Cop and a Half is a great, so bad it's good. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cut to a clip from 2009 <laughs> in one of Brandon E's uh, houses. He has a framed poster of this, and we'll click to it now. Cop and a Half, Cop and a Half, Burt Reynolds and Buster Rhymes. <laughs> True. Uh, it's majestic. I love that you had and, that. Yeah, no. <laughs> so Brandon's not just saying that He's, was 15 years ago. He yes. had a poster of that movie yes. framed in his house. He's yes. been a fan for a long time. Of that I'm one. a fan um, of just. But can we talk about Burt Reynolds' character and the child <laughs> character <laughs> playing swords? <laughs> Can we talk about how disturbing that is? It's bad. It's bad. And back then, nobody thought anything of it, did we? We just no, thought it was, it was funny. Yeah, oh, we are just oh, laughing God. at it. We're just but laughing it, at they're it. insinuating that this little boy is seeing Burt Reynolds in all of his glory. Yeah. <laughs> and vice versa. And Freaking like, Burt Reynolds. Smokey and the Bandit. Yes. Burt Reynolds. Yes. Freaking Normally Mr. Mustache. Burt Reynolds. Hey, it's no, such a bad movie. Dude. Dude. That movie is so horrible. But That's I a way to so start much. off an episode. Yeah, cop right and a half, dude. Great pull on If you've never watched it, get you get you some some chips ahoy and sit down drink yeah. you a mondo and watch you some cop and oh, a half. mondo <laughs> <laughs> fuck some squeezes get a mondo uh, yeah. was that the only one that I'm gonna pack take? a I'm gonna get a pack of strawberry newtons to eat with mine. <laughs> was that the only one on the mondos and the squeezes that took off the top and used to fake like y- yeah yeah I'd always say uh, it was like before, like I started playing football. I was like, "Oh, this is my mouthpiece." Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. I wasn't the only Living one. I was fat. Life, some, some of the times, I almost swallowed those things. <laughs> um, but just live your best life, ladies and gentlemen. Just do it, dude. Just <laughs> watch Cop and a Half and eat <laughs> strawberry Newtons, drink a Mondo, and yes. fuck all the haters. Dude. Yes, exactly. Oh, that's a great. Got? Who me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure me and you are probably the only people that have seen this movie. Mm-hmm. Night Beast. Uh, oh God! Dude. I know Brandon hasn't seen it. I, I haven't seen, seen it. Seen yeah, it. I know y'all haven't seen but it, but I have heard of it. Yeah, absolutely insane of a good horror time. Movie. Yeah, it's a horror movie. It's got a, one. It's almost got like that Madman almost yeah. sex scene in it, where it goes on a little too long, and it's very, it's awkward. very awkward. What era was this? Eighties. Eighties. Yeah, low budget. Eighties. Very low movie. budget. The okay. alien. The the main looks. Main, he has like a vaporizer gun and all. It's, oh, this sounds awesome. It is absolutely magical. Didn't come across it till we came. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome put it out. Yeah, which is a company that puts out like old horror movies okay. and like but, special editions of them. I want yeah. to see this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, abs- it's yeah. um, was it? I think uh, J. J. Abrams yep. did the music. Uh, was it, this was one of his first jobs? He did the music okay. to Night Beast. Okay, well, J. J. Dillon did the music to Cop in the Hat. Okay, so. <laughs> all right, you got yeah. me on that. J. J. Dillon yeah. was Dillon. actually talent relations. <laughs> 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 oh boy! Oh he boy. was Here William D. Golden the <laughs> second's manager. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing that y'all. The <laughs> second you did cannot he, forget did he do the any second. Other movies after that. No. Movie? He probably no. got scarred for life playing swords with a grown man <laughs> with a tree trunk size of this table yeah. in his face. Freaking Burt, of all people, a Burt Reynolds, Burt Reynolds yeah, statue. Burt Reynolds, dude. <laughs> did he like pose for Playgirl? Too? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, he was he's done it all. Yeah, <laughs> Burt Reynolds is do- literally he's done it all. What is and then they put the they put nineties, brother. Hey, whenever that came out. It was He's yeah, so, yeah. so like, bad. That was fine. Imagine doing that. You would never do that now. No, um, no. <laughs> great, great pick. Yeah. Chance, what you got? I got a movie that came out in the mid nineties. The Pest. Oh, oh the Pest. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. Okay. I remember that movie. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he gets gets hunted down by the uh, the dad in Beetlejuice. Yeah. Oh yeah, yep. yeah. That guy, he's no longer. He, well, I think he's passed away now. But mm. he got in some big time tr- for the same guy from Ferris Bueller's Day Off and mm. uh, Howard the, the Duck. Yeah, yep. Howard the Duck yep. and all that. Guy. Yeah, he got in some big time trouble with dealing with. I think, some sword playing. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Oops. Well. <laughs> all that stuff. Um, that's like, a good uh, one. Thankfully, he's gone now. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that's a good. I've never seen that one. Uh, I've heard that one. That was like one of his like first like leading roles, I think. Yeah. In the movie. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I mean, I had fun with it, but it's not a very yeah. good. Like, if I, I mean, watched it today, I probably wouldn't like it. Too. That's yeah. why there's no movies <laughs> on this list that I have right here that are that are great. No, and I'll segue from that to my one of my favorite so bad it's good movies, 
Boop, 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 baby, you're a rich man. Disorderly, starring yes. the Stones. <laughs> one of the worst movies of all time, but one of my favorites. They're all orderlies, and they're horrible at their job. <laughs> and they somehow get to take care of this super rich guy, and hilarity ensues, and God dang, is it great. Yes. It's so bad, though. Yes. R.I.P. to all the fat R- yes, They've all three passed R. away. R. But You've always talked about that. Gold, one, yeah. bro. It's so it's It's just good 80s fun. It's like... It's the soundtrack's all their songs, so it's really cool. Like it's it's a so bad it's good movie yeah. for sure. Mm. I remember when you I remember back in the day when you picked up that DVD for you. It's like yeah. this is one of the greatest days I've ever picked up yeah, in my collection dude. in the fucking Walmart bin. <laughs> He's <laughs> talked about the movies since I've known them. Yeah, it's, yeah. Just, mm-hmm. it, I, it's one of those I grew up watching. Yeah, I just thought it was cool because it was like three fat rapper dudes in a movie like being funny. Yeah, so I thought it was that's great. what most of this list yeah. is is movies mm-hmm. that we grew yeah. up yeah. watching oh, that absolutely. just stuck with you. Absolutely. Other than some gems that I've recently come across here in the last few oh, years. Oh, I got a gem mm-hmm. for you guys. Throw it out there. Mm-hmm. It's called Blank Check. Oh, oh that's yep. on shit. Yes, dude. Shout out Preston. to Preston motherfucking Waters. <laughs> yep. He Freaking <laughs> and Macintosh. The, the tough guy in the movie is played by Tone Loke, and he calls himself <laughs> Juice. <laughs> you thought you real think, original. If you talk like this, it makes you sound tough. He was like the human real life Roger Klotz. Yeah. Tough guy. I remember the, the, slide, <laughs> to, the slide to the pool from his yeah. bedroom and everything, yeah. and the go kart track, yes. and the gyro spin. Uh, dude, uh, envious of everything. <laughs> That kid had Macintosh. I freaking love that movie. Like, I think that my. What was the chick? Because she was an instant crush. Instant crush? Yeah, she had, even though she had short hair, she had the short. She did have short hair. She had short hair, but dude, she was instant crush. Which is usually an instant. Nope. No, but that. But she was she was an instant crush. Shout out to my day. boy Preston Waters. If anybody could like tag him in this, I me and him need to discuss some business. Me and him got some some. Was I, under, I just want to borrow ten dollars. Was that under the Disney That's umbrella? Oh. Shout out to the Disney umbrella. I believe so. <laughs> I think <laughs> so. That's one of their epic right. fails. Yeah, yeah. But I loved it. <laughs> so. uh, most of the back in those days, their live action movies weren't that that great. They were yeah. their cartoon movies. The cartoons did. Yeah. Yeah. Because what was the movie with Jonathan Taylor Thomas and Chevy Chase? Getting even no. with dad? No, no that was Macaulay, Macaulay Culkin. Culkin. <laughs> um, uh, I know. I can see the cover. Jungle to Jungle. Yeah, I got the cover. Uh, Jungle to Jungle was Tim Jun- Allen. Oh, yeah, that was. Uh, it too. Yeah. What was? Oh my gosh. Home for the Hot Note. He was oh like, God, he, uh, and it had uh, what's her name, Farrah, Farrah Fawcett was in it too. Yeah, I got the cover uh, in my head. I just can't yeah, put the title of it with oh it. Oh my gosh! I got it. Chevy mm-hmm. Chase was like the stepdad. He was like a, a Boy Scout. Wouldn't Chevy chasing that music video? Uh, Would you be my body man of the guy? house? Man yeah. of the house. Man That's the it. House. Yeah. That? Yeah. Paul Simon. <laughs> Like you realize that he's good at something. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. I loved it because I used to yeah. think when I was a kid, I thought Chevy I Chase thought was, was him. I thought, yeah, I thought it was him. But it was the other dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, Chevy Chase yeah. can sing. My dad's like, no, son, that's it's the other guy. <laughs> yes, but yeah, dude. All right, I got a hot take right here for for us right here. Okay, and they're newer newer movies like within the last couple of years. I like them, but they're terrible. Terrifier one and Terrifier mm. two. They are not great movies. I hated the second one. They're not great yeah. movies at all, but I enjoy them. Yeah. I mean, they are brutal. Very, very brutal. Another movie movies. I've heard of, but I haven't yeah. watched it. Yeah, Terrifier 2 is a two-hour-plus two, two, a pl- two hour plus slasher that needs that doesn't – It needs about an hour too, too long. Yeah, it's an hour too long, <laughs> and they turn it into, like, Wonder Woman at the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, what, the first one, but I'm, I'm telling you, dude, it is it some br- of the most brutal kills I've ever seen in a horror movie. That says a lot. Yeah. So, but, yeah. yeah. But it's – um. He's by far the scariest clown, though. Yes. I've been yeah. scary, I've been the killer clown. That says a lot, too. Yeah. He, he never like, speaks. He scary never to doink? Uh, wait. Nah, well, yeah. My bad. That's oh, like a 90s, vibe, techno, <laughs> look 90s techno right there. Uh, uh, but yeah, they're, they're t- uh, Terrifier 3 is coming out this Christmas. So yeah. Hopefully. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're, they're not, Take this murder to the face. I know it's a hot take because everybody loves the Terrifier. What's going to do more in the box office around the holidays? Wicked or Terrifier 3? <laughs> 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 you'll be surprised how much Terrifier Three will do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You'll be because it's a, the first one was super low budget. So you like, think it'll do about a hundred to hundred fifty viewers? 
no, uh, the second one. Th- the, se- uh, the second one made multi millions really? for being of super low budget in the theater, and theater. it was in for only for a weekend. And they it's like to- a David Hasselhoff cult following kind of thing. Like yeah, it's got like a huge true cult slasher it, film. Yeah, okay. and the first one's got like a total eighty slasher. It's got the graininess to the, the story. Oh, is very stuff limited. like that. Yeah. The acting's bad, but it's just it's that brutal. Great. And like I said, it's the probably second g- one. It just gets they, it's too long. It's though, too long. They get really. The it's a, it's it should be an hour and a half. It's a slasher hard, movie. Yeah, it's, it's, okay. it's muddy. The ending is yeah. very. It's too much. And it, I'm, it, but the first one, it, the first one has a kill in it that's probably like Chad yep. said has the most bru- brutal and probably one of the most grotesque kills ever in a horror yeah, movie. We've watched. I've watched so a bunch of kills. Of I've watched probably so. thousands of horror movies. Yeah, and Jeez. yeah, it oh, yeah, it was one when I saw it. I was like, "Oh my gosh, that just happened!" And it shows it too. Oh, so okay, I won't yeah. be watching that. One. That's a hot <laughs> take for you horror too, fans. I don't know yet. I I know you pretty well. That it's not a family a movie. Too graphic for you, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it won't be. It's not. It's I'm, not like your Friday Thirteenth. No. Oh, a little something. No, yeah, don't watch that one with the wife sitting next to you. I'm gangster. We'll be watching Wicked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just saying, I don't know how the best way to describe it without getting yeah, in trouble. Okay, I pass. <laughs> slice and roast beef is how. Slice, <laughs> slice and roast beef with a hacksaw. Jim Duggan. Okay, that's cool. I'm a, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. We've scared Brandon go. off of Terrifier, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah you just you lost me. <laughs> <laughs> Tune into Fat Boy. Yeah. With a dull hacksaw at that. Yeah. Shout out to Jim Duggan. All Anyways. Right. Yeah, Terrifier 1 and 2. Yeah. <laughs> I got 1991. Phoebe Cates, Drop Dead Fred. Oh, oh man. Okay. Another one, Vinegar, Vinegar put that one out, too. so close to putting it on the list. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep, that's, that's, a, that's got a huge cult following, too. Oh, it sure too. does. Yep. It yeah. definitely does. A, a, a lot of these movies that are probably on this, it's, that's the following they have. It's a cult yeah, following. Because Terrifier is a prime example of it, too. David Howard Thornton, he's at all the horror conventions, really and nice he has guy. a line. Yeah. A line rapid. Like his line is as big as anybody's. He, we, he plays Art the Clown. We met We met him after shortly in 2016 or 17. Right after the first one. After the first one, he was super cool. Nice. Super yeah. nice guy. And it's just crazy seeing the guy that he was and what he is in the movie. It's just crazy. Total opposite. Yeah, for yeah, sure. He's like the <laughs> nicest person ever. Yeah. You know. Well, but I got somebody that would not have a line if they had a movie <laughs> convention, <laughs> convention. He wouldn't have anybody. There'd be one person in the line. It'd be me. Um, his name is Junior Healy. Oh, mm. <laughs> and the movie is Problem Child. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> yes. Well, Mr. Healy, I don't want to go back to the orphanage. <laughs> he let you, he told you to hang around. That's a big bobbly, Mr. Healy. That's one big bobbly. <laughs> R.I.P. John Ritter, man. R. He's R. one of my favorite actors of yeah. all time. And also, yeah. You had a little Michael Richards in the first one. Yeah, movie. Kramer's in that one. Yeah. Pre-racist rant, Michael Richards. Pre- yeah. Pies. yeah. I haven't seen one of these in years. <laughs> and, dude, I'm one of those. I love Child's Play, but I'm one of. Did I Prob- say Child's Play? Yeah, Problem, Problem Child. Child. I love Child's Play, too. I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> but Problem Child is, is fire, but I like Problem I Child, do, too. I was going to grow a girl. girl. Yeah. I, girl. I, yeah. I thought it was. Um, it's my party. Yes, yeah. dude. I, I have just as much fun with that one, too. His yeah. bedroom is freaking awesome yeah. in that movie. They probably made 11 more than went straight to Walmart DVD, but yeah. that's the only time. I remember. So somebody also, if you see it's Michael Oliver, that's your name, I would love to meet you in real life. Me, you, Donkey Lips, <laughs> and Pete and Pete could just have one big Swanson's great start and watch California Dreams. Hell, <laughs> dude, well, I'll tell you one child actor that is grown now that I do not want to meet and that is Smalls from Cyber. Oh yeah. Uh yeah. He what will stab you he and turned into Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh my <laughs> Dude, god. That walk off after throwing that to the windshield. Uh, so <laughs> apparently th- he got mad at his neighbor and there's like ring cam footage of him like throwing going off on the neighbor yep. and then he threw something through the neighbor's car and then walked off like Stone Cold Dude, and got arrested. Arms swaying just like Billy really proud of himself. He Wasn't was, it? bro. He was strutting. Never expected that. I thought cutting. James Earl Jones taught him better than that. No, it was that big old bill in that hat. That <laughs> <around his head. laughs> Biggest bill on a hat ever imaginable. Oh, I, I, hope, I hope that uh, he got to sit down and talk to Benny the Jet Rodriguez about all that. <laughs> He's a firefighter in L.A. now. Interesting. Yep. It's mm-hmm. crazy how different people are. He's like are. a full-blown, like, Love firefighter in L.A. Like no no movie business or nothing for him. Yeah. Like Benny the Jet is a firefighter, and Smalls is a dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small <laughs> world. Put him out. It is oh a small God. world. And Hamilton Porter is just the shit because I love him. Hamilton Porter. Yeah, he's got a TikTok now. He's on there with his kid. And oh yeah, awesome. yeah. He looks the exact. Yeah, he I has see a him change. on Instagram. He has yeah. a change. He looks the exact. I same. love Hamilton. Man. Uh, I'm gonna th- I'm gonna throw two out here that are sim- very similar to each other. And I'm sure once again, me and you are the only ones that've seen these. But Miami Connection and Samurai Cop. 
are yeah. two absolutely. They're the, they're the two worst best action movies that ever was made. Yes, hmm. Samurai Cop. Who's it's in Samurai those? Cop. Nobody even know. It's just it's just over the top <laughs> action, horrible acting. I mean, just ridiculous. It's it's just it's an action movie. But yeah, it's a really low budget. Yeah. Samurai movie. Cop had they filmed the movie. And then they had to come back for the lead actor had long hair for the movie. Uh-huh. So great. So they had to come back and do reshoots, and the actor cut his hair at that oh, uh, when no. they ha- came back for reshoots. Bruh. And he is clearly wearing a wig in multiple scenes in this movie. That's We're, terrible. Bruh, it's it's so clearly terrible. wearing a wig. That's when it. you just need to just say we got enough shots. But like, it's uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I it's said, fuck that. Nobody will know. That yeah. makes me want to see this movie. Oh, yeah, dude, it's so, good. It's so it's much just, fun because you'll make fun of it the whole time. That's what it's I like, yeah. yeah, Miami Connection is the exact same Miami way. Connection. Okay. My, the soundtrack to Miami Connection is so eighties that you'll I love, love it. it. Uh, love yeah. It, yeah, Friends Forever. That's all I'm gonna say. Yes. Friends for and Dragon Force. Friends Forever. Mm. That's all I'm thinking about to say about the Bell song. Yeah, that, that's we'll a, be friends. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I love how they tried to play off that A.C. Slater was really singing. Like, <laughs> the Michael Bolton, Michael Bolton. Yeah. 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 You said you were leaving. <laughs> and I'm like, fucking A.C. Mario Lopez ain't belting that out. Fuck out of here. Get out of here. Mario Lopez. They ain't you, Mario Lopez. Was the Screech playing the keytar? Yeah. The Screech yeah. was playing the keytar. Key yeah, he was, though. <laughs> he was playing the key Yeah, dude. Shout out! Whatever happened to the keytar? I think it was I just a know. Saved by the Bell thing. For the a day bit. I'll ever want to brave me on doing an episode of that, I'll, that'll be the most fun I'll ever have. We should do a Saved by the Bell. That's my all-time oh, yeah. favorite. We'll have to get show. Jordan in on that one too. I need to go back and watch not I, the whole thing, dude, but like I need to go back and watch I, I can a quote, few seasons. Yeah, I can quote like not teaching Mrs. Tingle. Teaching, no, not teaching Mrs. Yeah, that, that was the whole thing. Yeah, remember I remember back when you said teaching Mrs. Tingle. Yeah. I was like, that's a Katie Holmes picture. I was at McKay's the other day and I come across, I almost grabbed that DVD just for you. <laughs> teaching Mrs. Tingle. Did you try to do the whole McKay's <laughs> whirlwind thing in one day? No, I heard mm, about that though. Yeah. That was pretty $800 insane. $800 credits. Like, dude. uh, they did uh, McKay's was I think it was Tuesday. Yeah. If you went to every McKay's store in one day, you got eight hundred dollars. Yeah, eight hundred dollar yep. gift card from McKay's. But you had to hit up every. Yeah, which is day. one in like North Carolina. There's two in North Carolina. Two, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're there's three getting gas getting yeah. around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You got you had to go from Nashville to Chattanooga to Knoxville. And the yeah. lines was insane. Yeah, the line. Yeah, it was everybody. Crazy. Uh, one person I don't know who tried it started in North Carolina because it's a time zone thing. So you yeah. can get back here and, and get your hour back, opposed to starting here and going there, you lose an hour. Ah, uh, yeah. There yeah. you go. Well, shout out. Look, speaking of that, this, this, my pick has nothing to do with it. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Deep Dive Police Academy Four. I knew you oh, have one. I, of them there on had there. to be uh, one of those on this well, list. Well, yeah. they're all bad. Well, not, not they're not all bad. Yes, they are. Past no, three, <laughs> so four and five are bad. Six and seven are unwatchable. But four is Citizens on Patrol Part Four. <laughs> you get David Spade, first movie David Spade's been in. Oh wow, he he's got like a small role in it, but. It's just by that time, like the first couple were like Revenge of the Nerds style. Yeah. And they kinda yeah, got like they, did. yep. they didn't do the they didn't do the nudity and the raunchiness as much, but they were doing like it was just once the toys in the cartoon came out, they, yeah, they had it to turned into back, like a sure. whole different thing. But Police Academy Four is one of my guilty play it's it's such a it's, terrible it's, movie. That one's terrible. But yeah, I do like it. Yeah, though. it's I terrible. Like, yeah. But like it's um it's just always one I've been that I've grown up on. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> It's the first one I watched because I watched, it was on one of those VHSs at my grandparents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't even see the first three before I watched yeah. that one. So. Oh, okay. That was really but great. It, uh, it's bad. It's just so bad it's good. Though. <laughs> That's what makes it so great. It, and then it pulls out the, and the nostalgia strings on you, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. You got another one? He's an old Martin Scorsese, Uh-oh. but Harmony Kareem with Gummo. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I got a surprise for you coming, with that, speaking of that movie. Oh, did you watch it? No, I didn't watch it. Just watch it. No, don't I'm watch not watching it. Just watch it. it. I'm not going to watch it. Just After watch it. But I will say, it. I've got you a physical copy coming of it. There's only one. Oh. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> Keep it away from your cats, Shane. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you already got guy. one cat that kind of hates guy. everybody. <laughs> yeah. Man, well. But just the whole, the, the whole West Nashville thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I know a lot of people in the movie, so yeah. not, not none of the cat killers, though. Don't know them, but <laughs> the other people. Yep, and uh, just filmed in the neighborhood. It's always a fun one to watch. So. Oh, a, fun, a fun one to watch. Yep. Fun one to watch. <laughs> that was that was filmed. Quote. In Nashville? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Out there in the nope. nations. I did not know that. Quote nope. of the episode: 
Gummo, Gummo a, a fun, fun one to watch. Hey. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm here for There's it, like man. this I much cat killing and this much I'll awesomeness. Watch, watch Terrifier before you watch out. <laughs> no. Oh, it's not Mac and me. That's killing cats. <laughs> <laughs> that was totally on my list. Yeah, what Mac and Mac and me? Oh boy, oh, oh boy. I, I'll pick. I was okay. I must. I was going to say that one. I'm gonna skip it for now. I got another. Uh, Jim Star is a good friend of mine. Um, it's BJ's favorite person. His name is Terry Bollea. Oh, it's called cool. Suburban Commando. Oh mm. yeah. <laughs> hey, don't forget about uh, the Undertaker in that one too. Acting debut of Mark of me Mark in yeah. that movie. You know which one was Sherman? Uh, Hemsley. Yeah. Was he Mr. I Nanny? Mr. I yeah, yeah, he was Mr. Nanny. Nanny. Well, well hell, you could throw No Holds Barred in yep. that category, Ooh, too. On my yeah. list. And yeah. high, high Noon, whatever. Yeah. High Noon, Mountain, Three Ninja. Terrible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hulk Hogan's horrible. Thunder in Paradise. I like that one. <laughs> 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 but I, I enjoyed No Holds Barred as a kid. I yeah, still, I mean, movies have seen it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, No Holds Barred. It holds a special place. It's a terrible movie, but I, yeah. I'm no, a fan no, of it. No, no host bar. It's kind of blurred some lines at the time. I thought it was like, because I didn't know if WWE was. What, what? Yeah, it was weird. Like, yeah. Know back then, yeah. Like, if it was like wrestling related or what. Yeah. Is Terry Funk in that movie? Pro- I have to go back and watch he it. He is in the movie that we've named the podcast after, yeah. which is after one, the best. No, second best. So bad it's a good movie. Over the top. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. It is such a bad movie. But it is Arm such wrestling a good truck movie. driver. But it's a good movie. <laughs> Fighting for the rights to his kid. What else do you need? <laughs> in the it's true. It Meet really me is, halfway. Though. It's a One terrible, of the greatest great soundtracks. Movie. Yeah, it's so yeah. bad. Yeah. And it's so funny that I grew up on that movie, never even seeing any of the Rockies until 2015. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Everybody's like, You haven't seen Rocky? Him and Jordan were like, I was like, No, man. But like you've seen over the top. I'm like, oh, like a hundred times. All the times we were roommates, I had the whole Rocky yeah, collection. Yeah, never watched it. That I bought from Media Play. Yep. Never Greatest franchise them. of all time. Oh, yeah. And, but like, yeah, over the, I mean, over yeah. the top is, it goes without saying, we named the podcast. I mean, seriously though. Yeah. After that movie. I mean, we couldn't, you know what I mean? That was the, I mean, you should have named the thing. Homeward Bound, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that too. We thought about change, that. middle of the podcast episode, Homeward Bound. And it was <laughs> Homeward Bound. I'll throw a couple little sports movies that are bad that, oh, uh, that I enjoy. Blue Chips, not a good movie. Love Blue Chips, bro. I did yeah. too. Yeah. It's not a good movie, but I, I love it, just because. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Though. It is. No, it is. Nick Nolte. Yeah. It is a good movie. No. I don't no, know. it's not. I haven't seen it. I it's love fun. it. I love it. Yeah. But yeah. it's. The, yeah, it's like it's the so program. Bad. The program's not that Ooh, great of a movie. I love that movie. I love that movie, yeah. but you, yeah, yeah. you look at it. It's, it's. I need to go back and watch that. I yeah. think on my mind. I think actually. Blue Chips is my second favorite basketball movie ever. Mm. Second favorite basketball. What's your Teen, favorite? Teen Wolf, which is another so bad it's good movie. <laughs> Teen Wolf's my favorite movie of all time, dude. It's favorite my, basketball movie. Is <laughs> second favorite basketball. I love movie. Above the Rim too. Okay, but like. Teen Wolf, White Men Can't Jump. Yeah, what? All those are great, but I'm saying. I mean, I've watched. I've watched. Teen Wolf more. I've watched Teen Wolf more than any movie except for Dumb and Dumb. Yeah, mm. but you watched that for the basketball. <laughs> no, but it's a basketball. Movie. I mean, it is. But it's about a wolf. <laughs> but he's fucking Scott <laughs> Howard, dude. Mm. He's a he's a wolf. He's a werewolf, dude. That is fucking balling, dude. He is yeah. balling. He, he, and then he says, "Fuck the wolf. We're gonna win without me being the wolf." And what it? I can say this. <laughs> it has the greatest basketball. Sequence scene I, yeah. in basketball movies. That movie, the champion. I know, Brandon, you're side eyeing me. <laughs> I am side eyeing the hell out of you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Air Bud. The Air Bud would have beat him in a one on one game. Whoa. The wolf game versus the dog. <laughs> when, my, when he comes in and he's like, give us the wolf, he's like, you don't need the wolf. <laughs> Everybody's shit, wolf, wolf, wolf. He said, fuck this. We're going to do this. I'm 5'1, and we're going to go out here and I'm going to mugsy bugs this shit. <laughs> so you really think Michael P. Keaton could beat Air Bud? In a one-on-one game, or thirty-six. Scott t- Howard, th- thirty-six tips. <laughs> Scott Howard could beat him. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> but I'm, all right, but thirty-six tips. You think? Well, I mean, <laughs> we, if, if he's got to turn the wolf, wolf If it's team, he's just going to eat the dog. So we can't do that. Yeah. So oh. if it's Scott Howard, it'll be close. Air Buds, Air Buds up there. What about Joanna, man? <laughs> <laughs> I hated that movie so bad. You but got lo- to win in the end. But now blue, blue chip, blue chips. <laughs> Blue Chips is great. Neon Bado, you had Penny Hardaway in there. You had Larry Bird in there. Shaq. Yeah, oh, Shaq. God, Larry Bird mm-hmm. was in there. Bob Knight. Yeah. I mean, there's so many big, like. Fuck. Oh Bob, fuck we Bob talked about Knight. this one on our Fuck ba- Bob Knight. <laughs> fuck Bob Knight. And fuck Bob Knight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck Bob Knight. Bob. Bob. Knight. Bobby. Yeah, Bob Knight. Knight. 
Middle name is E. <laughs> Bob E. Knight. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Shout out Teen Wolf. Hey, it's a good movie. So bad it's good. I didn't say it's the best. I said it's my favorite <laughs> basketball movie. Remember the name of this episode, everybody. Yeah, so bad it's good. Yeah. <laughs> but we talked about this one in the baseball episode, but Mr. Baseball, I love Mr. Baseball. Ooh, it's yeah. a terrible it's movie. It's a bad one. It's really bad. I never but, seen it until we watched him. Yeah, baseball but I uh, absolutely love it. I thought he was Don Mattingly the whole time. I did, too. No, I did, too. I did, too. Shout out to my, grand- my RP granddaddy. Like my mom's or my dad's dad, he was a big uh, Yankees fan, right? And his favorite player was Don Mattingly, but he said it. Chad, you know the best baseball player ever? I said, who? He says, Dun Mattingly. <laughs> I said, who? He says, Dun Mattingly. I'm like, who? He Dude. says, Dun Mattingly. I'm like, Don Mattingly? <laughs> He's like, yeah, Dun Mattingly. I'm like, all right. The best baseball Ex- player, sounds player of all time is yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's literally, no one ever talks about no, him. No it, respect it for yeah, like, yeah. No one ever says. He does get forgetting about. Dude, forgetting yeah, about yeah him. is like Harry from my brother and me. No one ever <laughs> talks about him. Well, <laughs> Harry's Harry's blonde bowl cut didn't do him any favors. <laughs> <laughs> he was, but you know what's funny? Harry was the coolest one he out of all cool. of them. He was cool, wasn't he? he all the other ones sucked. <laughs> Harry was. <laughs> Harry was the only one that was really poor cool. Harry, poor Harry. All the other ones were so a bunch all of. All the Harrys are cool guys. Yeah. So Mr. Baseball, like my least, like not least favorite, but my favorite terrible baseball movie was Angels in the Outfield. Oh, that's yeah, 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 yeah. It's so great. Yeah. Run home, run home. Uh, run home. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. So that many movie. actors in that movie. Matthew great. Yeah. In that movie, playing yeah. center field. Yeah. 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 Tony Danza's yeah. the washed up pitcher. Yeah. I I'd say my favorite so bad it's good baseball movie is Major League Two. Hmm. Because Major League Two, it, it's, yeah. it's 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 pretty bad, bro. Back to the Minors, it's terrible. I can't even watch that one more. To, I watched it the one CGI time. The CGI baseball and Back to the Minors, Jesus guys. Christ. What about the baseball. Scout? But, oh, I love that. Yes, dude. Yeah. 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 When we, it's crazy that the baseball episode was within. It was like episode what two, two or three? Yeah. Um, but but yeah, I would say that would be my favorite. So bad it's good baseball movie would probably be Major League Two. Yeah. That's, yeah. You have no, you have no marbles, but it's so no marbles. No, it's it's so yeah, bad. It's, it's so, so great. Good. Yeah, but it, but it's, it's so like, great. It's not, yeah, it is. You know, you don't put it up to like, you know what I mean? Like rookie of the year, what? That or <laughs> I mean, even like a you know, for love of the game, a bull yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, stuff like that. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I got, I'll throw a, a mid ninety one out here for you. I remember all the marketing for it, but it was a terrible. I mean, went and saw it in the theater, and it was a terrible movie, but I still love it. Congo. Mm. <laughs> Congo, <laughs> Congo. Yeah, there was, was so bad. much hype about yeah. that movie and everything, yeah. and all the marketing behind it. But I still, when they get the diamond laser and they start cutting them damn gorillas in half at the end, oh mm, man, it's so great. It's so cheesy. It's so great. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a, a good one. That's a soft spot. What for you me. got for us? Middle name Mike, first name Hot. <laughs> I have a, a whole franchise that's oh. so bad it's oh. good. The Leprechaun. Oh, oh yeah, it yeah. is yeah. bad. It's yeah. fun to Warwick watch. Davis. Though. Yeah. Great call. Great call. On my other channel, I guess it's been a couple – it's probably been 2013 at this point. It seems like it was a year or two ago. I did the whole franchise review on the Leprechaun, bro. And I should remember that now. I'm it uh, sure that, yeah. it it was a lot better franchise than I thought it was going to mm, be. Yeah. It's not good. I'm yeah, saying the no. movies are bad movies. But, like, I liked it as much as I liked the Child's Play franchise, yeah. if I'm being yeah. real. Like, mm. It's it. They're all bad, but yeah. like they, I don't know. There's a couple of really bad Leprechaun ones. Yeah, there's a couple of really bad Child's Play ones too. The first yeah. two though. Were there's a, there's only yeah. one oh, Child's yeah. Play I don't like. Yeah, we, 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 we discussed the Bride, Bride. Bride and Seed are the two of the worst movies ever made. <laughs> seed of Chucky. Let me put, seed, let, seed let me put Chucky. Bride of Chucky on this list real quick because yeah. I didn't know that that was one a bad of the worst movie. movies ever. Uh, you're my boy. And you're my boy, and I'm not taking sides. But see the Chucky is awful. yeah. See the Chucky yeah. is awful, and yeah. and uh, awful. Yeah, Colt so Chucky and oh, Colt. See, Chucky, I like Colt. Yeah. I didn't mind Colt. See, yeah. and bro, we, we did our when we did our franchise review. That yeah. was before. That was before. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was before you started coming on here. They that was like the argument. <laughs> that if there was an argument, but <laughs> Bride and Seed, I just wasn't budging on no. them. No, nobody. Can I don't mind the Bride. It's really stupid, yeah, but yeah. like. It entertained me, but yeah. to see, I lost yeah, me. That one lost me. Yeah, it was bad. I got a stupid one for you, but it's a load of fun. Yes. And it just by the name itself, you'll get a laugh at Zombievers. Oh, And okay. it's mm-hmm. everything you can think. Uh, the okay. name speaks for itself. <laughs> and there's a nostalgia with that because that's the first. Uh, that's the first. So we used to watch movies a lot on. Um, Google Hangouts. On Google Hangouts. And 
we did that one like live. Yeah. Well, that was like the first one of the first ones of those yeah. that we did with me. It was right after me and him met, and me him and Jordan started doing those videos. And we were watching Zombievers, and we were like, "What the fuck is this?" The name is horrible. It's, it's, they're just possess- they're, I mean, that's exact. They're zombie yeah. beavers, bro. Yeah. And they're just—it's—it's it's so, yeah. so, so dumb. Yeah, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's like a horror and comedy. And it's like it, there's multiple moments in the movie. It's like, wait a minute. In Tara Reid in it? No, what's Tara Reid? No, that's in a Charlie. It? Charlie's. Four- oh, okay. <laughs> 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 it's empty. I'm, like, I'm never her. But yeah, uh, Shit, uh, it may it be up? on Netflix. <laughs> it, if not, it's on Shutter. Why did I think Tara Reid was in <laughs> Was she? <laughs> no, she wasn't. No, what was that movie she was in? When we she were was like in Sharknado. She was in American uh, Pie. American, American Pie. Pie yeah. That's what I was thinking yep. of. And then it all went downhill from there. Yeah, she kind of, yeah. In the words of Newfound Glory, it went all downhill from here. You, you okay. You better say it. That's a deep dive. Yeah. <laughs> I but zombie, it's a load of. If you're looking for a mindless mm. horror movie to have fun and laugh mm. at, Zombie I've and, got one. Though, and it's practical effects. I've got one that uh, it's really not good. But I loved it. And I'm telling you, like, movies we're talking about really are good, but they're not. This one's just, it's not. But I love it. Night the Roxbury. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely so bad it's good. It yeah. is horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Chris Kattan, if you think about it, man, all those all those Saturday Night Live sketches turned movies, We're none not. of them really hit. They did not. Mm-mm. Now, the only one that did was Wayne's World. Yeah. yeah. That, but uh, but you got Night at the Roxbury. Superstar. Superstar. Yeah. Ladies Man. I should kind of like that one. <laughs> but, but, yeah, but I, yeah. they're yeah, like they the so bad it's yeah, good yeah, yeah, category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But like Wayne's World seemed to be the only one – Night at the Roxbury st- hit me with my feels, man. All that dance music yeah. Yeah. in the head. They were just so stupid. It was a lot of people in that movie. The cop was Jennifer Coolidge. Y'all remember mm. her? I remember the name. She's yeah. like the kind of, she's um, she's in a like, she's Stifler's mom. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay. That's all I had to say. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Stifler's <laughs> mom. Yeah. I know you're saying who yeah. you're talking about. She's in White Lotus, which is a great show. I've never watched that. You should. White Lotus, you watched that? Mm-mm. It's fantastic. It's like a little short movie, uh, not movie, like a TV show, but like a limited series, like four mm-hmm. or five episodes. I've I'm heard of it, but I'm almost done with Better Call Saul and it's Better Call Saul. I'm mm-hmm. watching The Bear right now. That's the new show I'm watching. Y'all watch that? No. I've heard it. I've, I've heard, heard it's great. it. Yep. It's fantastic. I'm, see, I was late on the Breaking Bad. I only watched Breaking Bad mm-hmm. all the way through for the first time a couple years ago. And now, show, now I'm on better. I'm almost done with Better Call Saul. I gotta watch that, bro. Have you never watched Better? No, I watched the first season. It was oh. slow as fuck, and I just never. Where would you bring that with Smart Guy? Smart Guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I was going. With <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Virgil <laughs> Sanchez, like I tapped out. Now. Oh, hang on, he's fixing to hit him with that fucking elbow uh, drop. Oh. Oh. He just go flying through the wall and, and hey, well, embarrass yeah. his ass <laughs> on national hey, well. television. <laughs> no, I need to watch The Bear. I need to watch Better Call Saul. The Bear is yeah. really good. It's yeah. just getting the time to yeah. do it. It's yeah. hard. That's the hard. You're Better busy, Call Saul's like seven seasons. Or yeah. Shit. yeah. The Bear is three seasons, but, once, but they're like short episodes. Once you get interest, introduced back into uh, – once everybody from Breaking Bad gets started introduced into Better Call Saul, it's like, oh, boy, here we go. Yeah, that's what I – I just need to watch it. Man. Yeah. That first season, because it, it, you don't get any – No, it's just building You don't get any Breaking, Bad, Breaking yeah. Bad stuff in that first season. Gotcha. But – uh Okay, I got a I got a action movie here. Uh oh, The Punisher with Dolph Lundgren. Punisher, mm. oh, not the not the one with not Thomas the, Jane. Not the one with Thomas Jane. This one was I think eighty eight or eighty seven. Oh, this okay. came out, uh, but it had Dolph I Dolph Lundgren plays Frank Castle. It's a terrible. I remember that movie. Terrible movie, yeah. but dude, the, just the nostalgia feel to it. Yeah. It's, it's all that matters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love it. I love, it. and I think it's one of Marvel's like. First, yeah. first movies yeah. putting out there and everything. Nice, yeah. And this is definitely Maybe. a multiple. Don't hold, hold, uh, hold me to it. Oh, we could go on and on for this one. Yep. Now, I, are I know you're you're an M Night Shyamalan fan. Yeah. Shyamalan Ding Dong. I know his new movie, his new trailer. We saw it when we trap. Bruh, that looks great. It's from the it's from the eyes of an actual serial killer. It looks fire, bro. Yeah. And we went and saw me and my brother went and saw Maxine. Which I want to see that. Great. It looks great. It's it fucking looks great, good. bro. I can't. Yeah. I don't know if that, I like. Yeah. I don't. I still think it's my third favorite, but that's not oh, really? saying it's. That's because I love the other two. Yeah. That trilogy is so fucking good, bro. Maxine, the yeah. only thing about Maxine is I feel like the ending is kind of rushed. Don't tell me about it. I'm not gonna say it's nothing. On my list. Yeah. I but it's, it's amazing. It. Yeah. It's it's amazing. I looked. I was literally looking at the previews for it yesterday. But yeah. they showed so many dope trailers for that. They showed. Um, Long legs. Oh yeah, that one looks, looks really, really Cage. Yeah, yeah really, long really legs good. looks. Trap yeah. looks good. The M Night Shyamalan movie. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Um, there was a couple of other ones. That's got what's his name? Uh, Trap's got what's his name in it? Uh, the dude looked for me, but I couldn't tell you who. It he's was. from uh, the faculty and stuff. Cal Lake H two O. Josh Hartnett. Josh yeah. Hartnett. Josh yeah. Hartnett. Yeah, Josh Hartnett. Yeah. yeah. Him and Tara Reed are eating. Yeah. <laughs> They're eating and totally. terrorizing totally. right now. <laughs> but coming back to M Night Shyamalan, I know his movies are very mixed, and this one got a lot of hate when it came out. But I actually liked it. Oh, I know what it is. In mm. the happening. Yep. Mark Wahlberg. The happening. Yeah. Worst yeah. acted yeah. movie of all time. Worst acted I don't movie. Know. Con Air. Oh yeah, Ooh, Nicholas that's Cage, that's, that's, Con Air. The Nicholas Cage is the epitome of so bad it's good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Can we say that if there's yeah. one person, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's Nicholas. Cage. Con Air was a good movie, yeah, but his acting. Oh, it's all right. oh, But Mark God. Wahlberg he says the bunny shit. Like, mm-hmm. there's, there's don't touch the bunny. But yeah. Mark Wahlberg <laughs> in the happening is looks like he's just clueless. Hey, what's man. going on here, guys? Why is everything doing? <laughs> it's like everybody, but that and I noticed too in the trailer for Trap, same way. Yeah, it's the way that it's almost like M Night Shyamalan wants them to act that way. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like that in every one of his movies, it feels like. Yeah. It was yeah. like that in old. Yeah. Because like, yeah. Mark Wahlberg's too talented. Yeah. To, but, yeah. It, but it was, uh, that's definitely so bad it's good. Yeah. Uh, I, I love the whole concept of it that nature is oh, dude, was, taking it out I on I love us. that movie. And it's, it's definitely. Have you ever seen it? Mm-mm. You never seen it? Oh, okay. That's one you can very watch. Familiar, sure. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some yeah. of the kill And some of the kills in it are pretty freaking brutal. Yeah. Too. And it's, it's cool because it's like, un- it's one of those unexplicable, like, Horror movie, you know, where it's like it, it you would like it, yeah, yeah. Like I'm, very, it. I'm very familiar, yeah, yeah, you would like it. Um, I'll do one more, mine will be a horror movie, and it's one that a lot of people like, but it's definitely a so bad it's good. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, part two, part two part I love part two, but it's, it's so following. it's definitely a so. I, I, the reason I put it in so bad it's good is because it gets a lot of hate, yeah. Um, but it's just because it was they try to do like comedy and shit in it, mm-hmm. and it was a canon film, so it was kind of it was completely different than the first one. Yeah, the first one was no jokes, gritty as fuck. Yeah, like the, the second one, was, one had yeah. a bunch of like they went more commercial, more commercial, yeah. Yeah. even the with the advertisements yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that. Yeah. But you got you got um, Dennis Hopper in it, who's super over the top. Yeah, like um, but. It's one that I go to bat for a lot, and a lot of people aren't as big of fans of it, but it's got a cult following. Oh, yeah, it's but it's for show. being so bad, it's good, I yeah. feel like. Yeah. 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 I agree. And that, yeah. the look of Leatherface is totally different. Yeah, and then you got – He's more of a pervert. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you got uh, Bill uh, – um, uh, Bill, uh, Bill Mosley. Yeah, Bill Mosley. I was Bill about Mosley's, to say Moxley. Oh, no, Bill Mosley. Nice. That's wrestling on the mind. Yep. But yeah. Cross, that'd crossing that'd worlds. Mine. Nice. Well, I've got, I've got. I'll throw my last one out here. He's, uh, he's an actor, but he's got a list of movies that are so bad they're great to me, and because I grew up on him on TBS, and that's Jean Claude Van Damme. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, Bloodsport is a masterpiece to me, yes. so I'm not putting that on this list. I've got movies like Double Impact, Double Impact. where he plays the twins. I love Double Impact. I've got yeah. movies like Death Warrant, where he goes to the prison and fights his way out. Yep. I've got a movie like Nowhere to Run on I here. I never saw that one. I've oh. seen Nowhere to Run. Sudden Death. Sudden like Death. That, like that Great call on that one. That one. That may be my favorite like other that. than like Bloodsport. I think that may be my favorite. Yeah. Thing that one. I'll throw this one out here to you to see if you know this one. No Retreat, No Surrender. I don't know that one. That's one of his first roles he ever had. Yeah. After he was cast as the Predator. I know he was the yeah, he was, he was the original Predator in costume, and then they changed the look oh, of. You know, I feel like I've heard that. Yeah, before, it, yeah and then they went to a to- Stan Winston made the different Predator. Gotcha. That Shout out stuff. to SW. Man, he had uh, some, some some little nice gems right here. But yeah, those yeah. are those are those are some. Gem- I mean, you got Time Cop you could throw Time in there too. Yeah, I so I'm a huge. We'll just put, I'm a we'll huge just put Jean Claude Van Damme's picture on here. <laughs> perfect, perfect <laughs> example. He epitomizes so bad it's good from an action standpoint. Yes. Yeah. You got any more for your list? I have an action movie. Totally I don't know if y'all have ever seen this or not, but Remo Williams' The Adventure Begins. What? Yep. I have never heard of that, dude. Heard Whoa, that dude. Who is died. in that? It's um, Remo Williams. Fred Ward and Joe Gray. Fred Ward from uh, Tremors? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Remo Williams. I will yep. have to look up a trailer for you this. I was going to go deep. Y'all never get stopped, man. <laughs> I was going to say Fred Ward, the father from 30 Minutes or Less? <laughs> <laughs> it's... It's about a cop who has an accident and uh, ends up getting trained to be a, basically a ninja assassin. Oh, uh, sign me up. Sold. <laughs> sold original, sold original on that plot one. right there. Oh. Real original sign plot. me up. That, that sounds like uh, Miami Connection. Uh, yes. <laughs> dude, you need to, if, you, if that's on your you need to watch Miami Connection and Samurai Cop. Dude. All right. Facts. Because, oh. My, yes. Facts. And my last one, um, 
It's a real, real horror movie too. It's real, real scary. Lots of killing in it. It's called Heavyweights. <laughs> oh, dude, one of the greatest movies of all time. <laughs> Uh, dude, definitely great. so bad it's good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep it short on that one, but y'all know what Perkins Power, right? everything. Yeah. I mean, just. The movie's awesome. Coming up next, Josh Birnbound. Get up on the scale. <laughs> get up on the scale. <laughs> hey, new kid. Get, get, the, get the salami <laughs> off my back. <laughs> Goldberg, yeah, Goldberg, Sean Weiss. Yeah. And salute to Sean Weiss because he's had a rough like yeah. last. But yeah. he's back. He's he clean. He's, he's doing back. so good. I follow yeah. him on Instagram. He's bounced back. He's doing stand-up comedy now. Like I'm so glad rough to see while. that. Yeah. But like he makes that movie to me. Yeah. He really does. He, he's 100% not, does. And, and you got and Kenan Thompson's great yeah. in it. Nah, he makes that movie. But but yeah. but Sean Weiss makes that movie. Yeah. Jo- Josh from that movie makes it. Yeah. But that and and, and uh, Lars. <laughs> yeah. Lars is yes. good. Lars buddy, is good. buddy, yeah. you must do the buddy system. I still got the DVD of that movie. Yeah, that oh, is great. It's, man. A, it's a Blu-ray that has never left. I, my I was collection. trying to decide between Heavyweights and Camp Nowhere. Okay. Uh, yeah. Camp Nowhere's a, <laughs> bushwhacked. <laughs> yeah, bushwhacked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shout man. out Daniel Stern it's The original mm-hmm. Swamp Thing movie Ooh, for me. It's, yep. it's a terrible movie yeah, But I mean it's, The TV show wasn't much better I, I mm-hmm. loved it though. I did too Loved it I did too loved I, TV. It. I think yeah. I loved the TV show More than the original yeah. movie I, No I did too Cause what, Was that TBS as well? Ooh, I don't remember I feel like it was like I, f- I remember seeing it was like that sci-fi the, but It may have been Like the, OG star, like sci-fi, sci-fi channel Cause that's I, where yeah. Another one off my uh, The Giver I originally saw The guy Loved what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Another mm. Giver? Fa- That's what I'm talking about. It's a freaking kung fu movie with people yeah. and monsters. I know that one. I with Mark Hamill surprisingly. in it. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Yeah. yeah. Mark Hamill. I don't know movies really no, well. Sh- but like, shout yeah. out. No, sh- fuck Mark Hamill. <laughs> well, we appreciate everybody tuning in, man. Yeah. We're just going to do a, a cold plunge. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm jumping in the cold bath. So, if y'all haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that. If you're finding us via one of the shorts or just through Instagram or YouTube or whatever, we appreciate y'all checking us out. Mm -hmm. Be sure to hit the sponsors up, Trouble Spirits, Revolution One Media, for all your marketing, website needs, and all the wrestlers, man, that we're consistently adding to. So um, shout out to the guys, man. We're back. Until next time, we out this motherfucker. Bow.